Hey there YouTube, this is Math Bowler with my Pittsburgh Steelers autographed mini helmet collection. These are players who are on the offensive side of the football, who have played with the team rather recently or are on the team. I'm making a separate video with my Steelers from the 70s. I'll do the same thing with the Steelers on the defensive side of the ball as well. I'll let you know how I obtained them or where I obtained these as in addition to who they are. This is alphabetical, starting with the lowest in the alphabet, Charlie Batch, with the two-time Super Bowl champs inscription. I personally obtained this autograph from Charlie Batch when he made an appearance at the Pittsburgh Auto Show. And I can think of two other times he's been there. He's been really good about being out in the public. Of course, he's been really cool with uh, his foundation as well. Just overall good guy. Here we have Le'Veon Bell. I personally obtained this one at a signing through Total Sports Enterprises. I realize that is not a Steelers mini helmet, but a Notre Dame helmet, but it does have a nice autograph of Jerome Bettis on it. In blue, it looks really good. Another Jerome Bettis mini helmet. I was a little concerned with this one because it was an older signature. I trusted the person I bought it off of, but I still sent it off to get JSA authenticated, which it came back authentic. So that's good. That's an older version of Jerome Bettis autograph on a mini helmet. Here we have Chris Boswell. I personally obtained this one at a signing at Beaver County Auto. I asked for the Wizard of Boz inscription, which he gave it to me. I was really happy to get that. Stefan Tuit kind of laughed about as he was signing that inscription, but that's fine. He didn't mind signing it. Antonio Brown, I purchased this one through Steel Town Memorabilia quite a few years ago, actually. Move on around here. We got some more to show you. It's going alphabetically here. Now we have Plexico Burris. I got Plexico Burris' autograph mini helmet through Total Sports Enterprises. can always tell when it's from them because they put the decals on there, the numbers. Same place where I purchased the James Conner autograph mini helmet. From Steel Town. No, no, from Total Sports Enterprises. I realize this is the wrong side of the football for him, but put him somewhere, I felt like putting him right in the middle of all these guys. Bill Cower, head coach. I purchased this one through Steel City Collectibles. It was already JSA authenticated, so that's fine. Santonio San Holmes on a Super Bowl 43 mini helmet. I purchased this one through Steel Town Memorabilia problem with these types of mini helmets, these decals, they have looked like this for years. They're not getting any worse, but even if I try to push those back on, they just pop back off those decals. Here we have Jesse James. I personally obtained this one as signing through First and Goal Collectibles. There's Heath Miller. I purchased this one off some company or business or whatever on eBay, but it was JSA Witness Protection Authenticated, so I knew it was okay. Got five more mini helmets. First off, we have Fast Willie Parker. I purchased this one through Steel Town Memorabilia. Cordell Stewart. I personally obtained this one at a book signing that he had at the South Hills Village with the slash inscription. There he is, Big Ben Roethlisberger with the Big Ben inscription. I purchased this one through Steel Town Memorabilia a number of years ago. Heinz Ward. I had purchased this one authenticated by Gridiron Authentics. 
His autograph has changed a little bit since this was signed. And the last one, D'Angelo Williams. I personally obtained this as signing at Total Sports Enterprises. Well, folks, I want to thank you for watching the video. Feel free to give it a like, comment, or subscribe. More videos to come. Take care, folks.